Hey everybody, my name is Rob and in this video I'll be showing you how to create your own movie carts. Movie carts are cartridges you can play on stock Ataris that play color full length feature films or anything else you want. So in order to do this um, you'll need to set up some software. Uh, there's a few things you'll need so uh, just going through the list here. First thing you'll want is Touch Designer and uh, Touch Designer is a multimedia real-time editor that you can use to, to customize and create all sorts of content. I, I use it to uh, encode the actual video in the format that I need for the Atari to play back. So you can get Touch Designer at derivative.ca and just use the Get It Now button. And uh, the movie cart encoding will work for either Windows or Mac. So download the one you need. But once you launch Touch Designer, it will ask you to register. And registering gives you 10 free non-commercial licenses. So you can use it at 10 different locations. So I would go ahead and download and set up your account as well to make sure that uh, you get your 10 free licenses. Once the uh, once that's set up, I would go to uh, github.com low def mode movie cart and grab the files there. You'll only need a few of them, but it's easier to just grab them all. So you can go here to code, download zip, and then unzip the files somewhere convenient. I've downloaded it here on my desktop. The next thing you'll want is an up-to-date Atari emulator such as Stella or Gopher. Uh, today I'll be using Stella. Um, at the time of this recording, Stella is only at 6.7, but you'll want what comes after that for the uh, movie cart support. So if you don't want to wait for it to be recompiled, you can compile it yourself if you're uh, so inclined. And that would be at github.com slash stella-emus-stella. And you can see that has the uh, latest movie cart changes to it. And finally, the last thing you'll need is some sort of DVD ripper. I went through a few different DVD rippers, uh, free ones and whatnot, and I found them all lacking. The one I enjoyed in the end was WinX DVD ripper. I bought like a full license for that as well. I found it was fast and convenient and I didn't, ha I didn't have to worry about the sound or the graphics getting garbled. So to recap, uh, Touch Designer, the movie card files, an Atari emulator software, and a DVD ripper. So uh, once you have those four things set up, you can continue.